water conditioners, stress reducers, salt, algae removers, and live bacteria. There's so many different types of aquarium chemicals out there, but which ones do you need? Well, stay tuned because this is our list of the 10 aquarium chemicals that we keep in our fish room all the time. If you're new to fish keeping, this is going to be a must watch. But even if you're a veteran, it might be interesting to know what we use and our justification for them. So let's get into it. Water conditioners are something that should be in every home that has an aquarium, even if you're on a well. We'll get into that more in a second. Water conditioners perform several functions in an aquarium. The first is they remove chlorine and or chloramine, which is a disinfectant that's added to your city water to make it safe for human consumption. Here's the thing, you'll hear a lot of people say that chlorine and chloramine are dangerous for the fish. They burn the fish's gills and that's all true, but there's another reason why we wanna get this stuff out of our aquariums. Since chlorine and chloramine act as disinfectants, it'll kill the beneficial bacteria that's in your aquarium. And that means that there won't be anything to keep ammonia and nitrite under control. So it's not only the fact that chlorine and chloramine can hurt your fish, but it can hurt everything else that's in your aquarium too. But what about the folks that say, well, I'm on a well, so I don't have to worry about chlorine and chloramine. I don't have to use water conditioners. Well, it's true that your well water won't have chlorine and chloramine, but that doesn't mean it's perfectly safe out of the sink. Think about where well water comes from. It's water that comes from the earth, which is a good thing, but it's very common for well water to contain high nitrates and heavy metals, which can throw things totally out of whack for your fish tank. It's better to just play it safe and use water conditioners, whether you're on a well or on city water. Now, as far as what kinds we use, Prime and Stress Coat are the two staples in the industry. They are fantastic products. But for quite some time now, we've been using these, which are Guard and Complete from Fritz. Fritz Guard is a chlorine and chloramine remover, and it also removes heavy metals. And Fritz Complete is the total package. It removes all of those things while also completely removing ammonia and detoxifying nitrite and nitrate, which makes it a direct competitor for those other brands. And it's these that we've actually chosen to carry on our website. If you wanna hear why we chose Fritz over those other brands to carry on our website, stay tuned to the end of this video. We'll talk about it then. Not many people know this, but I used to work in a hospital. And one thing I can say is that the majority of the patients that would come in would always be hooked up to an IV. When you see someone hooked up to an IV, what's the thing that is almost 100% of the time in those bags? It's saline. What's saline? Well, it's salt water. What does salt water do when it's put into your bloodstream? Well, it rehydrates you and it gives you the electrolytes that you need to get better. Well, with fish, it does the same thing, so salt is a great treatment for things like external parasites and injuries. When we have fish that are sick or injured, I'm the one that usually takes care of the fish. I will fix them up and I'll make them better. It's not that John doesn't know how, but he knows I'm more of the nurturing type, a little bit more than him. Anyway, in so many situations, one of the first things I'll do is add salt to the aquarium. Now, if there's a bunch of fish in the aquarium and only one needs to be fixed, I'll just take that fish out and put them in a quarantine tank instead of adding salt to the entire aquarium for all of the fish that may not need it. Again, this will help replenish the electrolytes in their body and help them recover much faster. And a lot of times it's all I'll have to do to get them better really fast. Now, I can't stress this enough. There's a ton of different ways salt can be used for helping to treat fish. Way too many to go over them all in just this video. I encourage you to do plenty of research and to use an aquarium salt because there's certain fish and plants that can't tolerate it, so be careful. The next thing we use salt for is to buffer the water for the fish that like it a little bit more harder. That's what she said. <laughs> I said it before John. But anyways, we use it for the guppies and the African cichlids. This is a pretty simple thing. We just add salt while we're doing water changes in these tanks to buffer the water and make the fish happy. 
You could ask 10 different fish keepers about aquarium salt and you may get 10 different answers. Again, we use it just for a few different tanks that we have and also to treat the fish and it works wonders. It's something you should definitely keep in your fish room because you never know when you may need it and it'll come in handy. Okay, before I get into bacteria, have you seen the video that we did on our channel that's called Bubbles? I'll put a link up here to that video. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever done on my channel. And this is a shirt that we got made to commemorate Bubbles. He's our favorite fish that we have right now. Love that little guy. People are gonna ask about this shirt, so I figured I would throw it out there. Keepfishkeeping.com is our brand new website. These shirts are on there. Go on there and get them because they're actually right here, our inventory. We don't have very many left. So make sure you get on there and order them up because they're going fast. If you're new to fish keeping, you might be like I was in the beginning and think bacteria is a bad word. Well, in the fish keeping world, the word bacteria can be a really good word. It's a good word because it's bacteria that breaks down uneaten food and ammonia and converts it to less toxic nitrates. We need this to keep a healthy environment for fish and keep everything balanced in our aquarium. You see a lot of products on the market that say live bacteria, and you're probably wondering, does it even work or is it just a real big waste of money? Well, to answer that question in the most non-technical way possible, I think so. When it comes to whether bacteria products work or not, I base my decision on what happens in my aquarium. Do I get a big ammonia spike during the cycling process? Do I have fish gasping for air and under stress? If the answer to those questions is no, then it makes me think that the product worked. I, I don't know, does that answer the question for you? Last year, I set up my 360 gallon tank that you see behind me in my garage, and I used Turbo Start 700 from Fritz, and I never got any spikes. I didn't have any algae blooms, nothing. The tank basically behaved like it had been running with fish in it for a year. So I, yeah, I guess it worked. We also used API's Quick Start in all of these tanks on Lisa's beta wall. And just like the Fritzyme, we never had any issues at all. So here's the thing, how do you really know if these products work? Because as far as I know, there aren't any tests out there that you can do on your aquarium to actually see how much live bacteria is in there. At least none that I've found anyway. The only way I know to tell if it works is if the aquarium behaves like one would when it's cycled. Is there no ammonia or nitrites? And are the nitrates showing up? We know it's working if the test kits are showing that. So if that's what happens, I have no other choice than to believe that the bacteria products have done their job. I do wanna be very clear though, that the cycling process is the most fundamental thing that you need to know about an aquarium. So if you don't know about the cycling process, I definitely suggest that you do plenty of research on it. I've done videos on it. Other channels have done videos on it. It's not hard to find the information out there. Make sure you have a good understanding of the cycling process because even with these products, you still need to know that. Yes, in my experience, these products do work and they make starting a new aquarium very, very easy, but it doesn't take the place of you knowing what you're doing. So again, do your research. When you fill up a glass box with water and you start adding decorations, plants, fish, whatever you decide to put in your aquarium, there's one thing I can guarantee and that's that you're gonna get algae. Controlling algae is a constant struggle for most fish keepers. We all scramble to figure out what we can put in the tank to get rid of it. Whether we go looking for fish that eat the algae or tools that make scraping it off of stuff easier, we're always looking for that thing that's just gonna get rid of it. Well, here's the thing that most fish keepers don't wanna hear. If there's a huge buildup of algae in your aquarium, it's usually not that hard to figure out what's causing it. It could be that you're leaving your lights on too long, maybe you're overfeeding your fish, or you don't have the proper amount of movement in the water. The list of things that cause algae blooms is enormous. So my advice to every fish keeper is figure out why you have the buildup of algae and put in the work to correct that problem. But sometimes you work your butt off and you still have algae. So what do you do then? 
Well, that's when a product like this comes in. We've used several algae removal products and they all seem to work really well, but I wanna tell you something that'll save you some real money. If you have a buildup of brown or green algae on your glass or your decorations, then these products probably won't do the job. You're gonna have to get in there and you're gonna have to do the work cleaning off with your little tools or whatever you have, but you're the one that's gonna have to actually do the work. And I'm just rambling now and I don't even know. But there's another type of algae and that's the type that's grown in the water column itself. This will make your water look murky and gray and you'll do everything you can do, but it just doesn't seem to get any better. That's when a product like this will be a miracle. I use this product in my 90 gallon when I had an algae bloom in the water and it literally cleared up in like 10 minutes. I do need to caution you though. These products, they work like magic. They work really well, but they're super strong. So you really need to be careful. This is the first time I've ever done it where I'm just gonna do one segment that's numbers five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Hopefully it goes smooth. There's several different medications that we keep on hand at all times. Some of them we use more than others, but it's really good to have all of these on hand just in case. Now I realize a lot of these medications are expensive and it's hard to collect all of them just in case, but we've got 25 tanks that we're running right now. So the odds of us needing a medication every now and then, it's pretty good. Plus we sell a lot of these products on our website and we're also working with Aquarium Co-op and sometimes because we're part of their brand ambassador program, we get these medications sent to us. So it's kind of nice. I mean, I, I'm a lucky guy. Anyway, the medications we keep on hand at all times starts with General Cure from API. This is a product that contains metronidazole, which that, that's how I say it. I don't know if I'm saying that word right or not, but this is really strong for treating parasites like velvet, flukes, and hole in the head. I've got these two Oscars in the tank behind me and it's no secret how much I love these fish. In fact, I've made a shirt that's on my website that is all about Oscars. It's pretty funny, you might wanna check it out. But anyway, hole in the head is very common in Oscars. So with as much love as I have for these two fish, if it happens, I'll be ready. Next is Maricin from Fritz. This is an antibiotic that works wonders on bacterial infections like funguses and Popeye. You'll also see this listed as one of Aquarium Co-op's med trio that he uses for quarantine just to make sure the fish is good and clean before putting them with your other fish. Next is Melifix and Pemafix. We do not sell these on our website. We used to, but nobody ever bought them and they got expired. So we took them off the website. We're not selling them anymore. You can pick it up a dime a dozen pretty much anywhere, but Pemafix is gonna be for treating things like fungal infections and Melifix is gonna be for bacterial infections and also it'll help the fish recover from injuries faster, stuff like that. But wait a minute, John, that's exactly what General Cure and Maricin do. Why would you have all of these medications that all do the same thing? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's my logic behind this. I like to use Melifix and Pemafix as a first treatment when I see there might be problems. The analogy I use is if I get a headache, I take ibuprofen. If the headache persists and doesn't go away, I'll say, okay, it might be time to go to the doctor. When I see there might be a problem, I'm always gonna start with water changes. Clean water is the best medicine for your fish. But if that doesn't seem to work, I'll go to Melifix or Pemafix, depending on what the symptoms are. If a couple days pass and things don't get any better, I'll move on to a more powerful medication. Now, having said that, I will tell you that in our tanks, most of the time when we see that there's a problem, we're able to resolve that problem by either doing water changes or going to this. And that's great because then we don't even have to go to the hard stuff. The last thing we keep on hand is fix -Ic from Fritz. This is a brand new treatment for Ick from Fritz that I rarely need, and if you're doing a good job, you shouldn't either, but again, it's good to have just in case. And this is another medication that's commonly used as a quarantine for new fish too, since being in the fish store and being transported is so stressful for the fish. What easy green? I shouldn't even have to do a segment about this because 
everybody knows about Easy Green, right? John and I have always tried to keep things easy in our videos. We try to keep things simple and basic because it's so much easier to grasp all of the different aspects of this hobby if you don't overwhelm people with information. Well, sometimes we need easy things too. Products that just work. You don't really understand why or how, but it doesn't matter because it works. Well, Easy Green from Aquarium Co-op does just that. This product takes the guesswork out of keeping a planet aquarium. You add it to your planet tanks when you're doing water changes and it provides your live plants with what they need to thrive. How does it work? I don't know. I just use it. If you want to know how it works, go watch Aquarium Co-op's Easy Green video. I don't know. So there you go. There is our list of the 10 chemicals we must have on hand at all times. It, it's just a no brainer. We always keep them around. Of course, links for all of these products will be in the description down below. And listen, I'm not telling you that if you don't have all of these, you're a bad person or you're a bad fish keeper. I'm just saying in a perfect world, it would be great for everybody to always have these. Now let me address what I talked about earlier in this video about why we chose to carry Fritz on our website as opposed to all of the other ones. The first reason is, well, it's 2020. The aquarium industry is very old. It's older than anyone that's watching this video right now. And unfortunately, a lot of the manufacturers out there are kind of stuck in the past in the way they're doing things. They look at us, content creators, as a joke and as a burden to the industry, but not Fritz. Fritz gets us. They understand the impact that we have on the industry and what we're doing to expand this hobby. And when I say us, I don't mean just me and Lisa. I mean all of us throughout all of the internet everywhere. And you should also know that Fritz is a major player in this industry. They manufacture a ton of products out there that might have some of your favorite brand names out there. They don't only create products with the Fritz brand on it. They have some of the best products in the industry and it's not even really up for debate. I believe in what they're doing. I appreciate their support and I have a lot of respect for what they've done in the industry. So when it came time for us to choose what we were gonna carry on our website, it was really a no-brainer. Now that doesn't mean that I'm shunning all other brands and I'll never use anything else from any of these other brands, no. There's a reason why these other brands have been around forever. In fact, I'm looking at a bunch of bottles from other brands right now. I mean, they're everywhere. They've been around forever and there's a reason why. I'm just saying that I love the way Fritz treats us the way they show us respect. And hey, it, it's kind of cool when I can reach out to Sean Hale and he'll actually treat me with respect instead of just some schmuck sitting in his basement. I don't know, it, I don't know. It just makes me feel good. That'll work. <laughs>